In this video, I am going to show you how to trade chart patterns like a pro and how I personally apply these exact strategies to both crypto and forex trading to make massive profits. But before we start, kindly like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. So without further ado, let's get started. So there are tons of patterns that traders use, but the ones I will be covering are the ones I find the most effective and that occur the most often. So let's get right into it. Starting with the first, which is the double top and double bottom pattern. The double top pattern is formed when you have a moving uptrend. Price then makes two equal highs. The tops essentially make a resistance level. The swing low here is what is called the neckline. Now, what does the double top tell you from a price action standpoint? Simply that price failed to make a higher high, but instead made an equal high, which shows a loss of momentum from the uptrend, meaning a loss of momentum from the buyers in the market. Now, moving on to the double bottom. The double bottom is formed when you have a moving downtrend. Price then makes two equal lows. The bottoms essentially make a support level. This swing high here forms the neckline. Now, what does the double bottom tell you in terms of price action? It simply tells us that price failed to make a lower low, but instead made an equal low, which shows a loss of momentum from the downtrend, meaning a loss of momentum from the sellers in the market. So this then brings us to our next question, which is, how do we use the double top and double bottom pattern as part of our overall strategy? Now, before we continue, just go to the comments section below and tell us exactly what topics and questions you want us to cover as we always look at the comments to decide what to create next. Now, these are the three core variations to using the double top and double bottom pattern. Let's start with the first, which is the neckline break entry. So you first have your double top pattern that forms neckline here because of the recent swing low. Now, once price breaks the neckline and makes a lower low, you would take a breakout entry short as the reversal and trend change is now confirmed. Going the other way, you first have your double bottom pattern that forms neckline here because of the recent swing high. Now, once price breaks the neckline and makes a higher high, you would take a breakout entry long as the reversal and trend change is now confirmed. So moving on to the second variation, a double top or double bottom pattern forming at a key level. Now, this is an entry that occurs frequently on the charts. So you first need to identify a key level which we have through this reversal points. Now, as price comes back down, it creates a double bottom pattern at the support level. So again, to confirm the reversal, you have your neckline placed at the recent swing high. And once price breaks through the neckline and makes a higher high, your trend change from a downtrend to an uptrend is confirmed. And you would then take a buy position and watch price trade higher. Now, going the other way for a double top, you first need to identify a key level, which you have through this reversal point here giving you your resistance level. As price comes back up, it creates a double top pattern right at the resistance level. So again, to confirm the double top reversal, you have your neckline placed at the recent swing low here. And once price breaks through the neckline and makes a lower low, your trend change from an uptrend to a downtrend is confirmed. And you would then take a sell position and watch as price pushes downwards. So what does the double top or double bottom pattern at a key level tell you from a price action standpoint? This kind of entry is of higher quality because you're not just trading a pattern on its own, but a pattern that is also at a key level, which means you also have support and resistance traders looking to enter along with pattern traders, which helps create momentum for the trade and increases trade quality. So moving on to the third variation, a double top or double bottom pattern but waiting for a pullback entry instead of taking the breakout entry. So here you had your double bottom pattern, then the neckline break. But instead of taking the breakout entry, we had to wait for a pullback to the new support level to take the trade. Now moving on to the next pattern, which is the flag pattern. There are two types of flag pattern, the bull flag pattern and the bear flag pattern. Let's start with the bull flag pattern. The bull flag pattern is formed when you have your flag pole which is the moving uptrend. You then have your flag pattern, which is a descending channel. The bull flag pattern has two parallel downward sloping trend lines placed above and below, connecting the lower highs and lower lows. The bull flag pattern 
signals consolidation and a pullback. Once you have a break above the upper trend line, this signals that the pullback is over and the larger uptrend will continue. Or to be more specific, a break above signals that new buyers have entered the market and a fresh upwards momentum, which is what pushes price even higher. Let's show this on the charts. On this chart, you can spot the flagpole here, which is the moving uptrend. Then the bull flag pattern, which is the descending channel. Downwards, slanted trend line above and parallel trend line below. Now waiting for a breakout, you can see that price broke above the uptrend line. Now this is a confirmation for the trend continuation, and it's a good opportunity to take a buy position and make good profit. Moving on to a bear flag pattern. This is just an opposite of the bull flag pattern. The pattern forms when you have your flagpole, which is the moving downtrend. You then have your bear flag pattern, which is an ascending channel. The bear flag pattern has two parallel upward sloping trend lines, placed above and below, connecting the higher highs and higher lows. The bear flag pattern signals consolidation and pullback. Once you have a break below the lower trend line, this signals that the consolidation and pullback is over, and the larger downtrend will continue. Or to be more specific, a break below signals that new sellers have entered the market and a fresh downwards momentum, which is what pushes price lower. Now, if price breaks above the pattern, this can signal a possible trend change upwards. Let's show this on the charts. First, you have your flagpole, which is the moving downtrend, the bear flag pattern, which is the ascending channel, also the upward slanted trend line above and parallel trend line below, then waiting for a breakout. Once you have a break below the lower trend line, you would take a short entry as a larger downtrend will continue. Now, let's also talk about neutral flag pattern. Unlike other flag patterns, this flag pattern can form both during an uptrend or downtrend, and it can signal trend continuation or trend change, depending on the formation. That's why it is called neutral. For example, here is the anatomy of the neutral flag pattern in an uptrend. You have your flag pole, which is a moving uptrend. You then have your neutral flag pattern, which is a horizontal channel. The neutral flag pattern has two parallel horizontal lines placed above and below, connecting the swing highs and swing lows. This is also known as support and resistance. The neutral flag pattern signals consolidation and indecision. Once you have a break above the resistance level, it signals that the consolidation is over and that the larger uptrend will continue. Or to be more specific, a break above signals that new buyers have entered the market and signals fresh upwards momentum, which is what pushes price higher. If price breaks below, this can signal a possible trend change downwards. Now going in the opposite direction, a neutral flag pattern in a downtrend. Your flagpole is a moving downtrend. You have your neutral flag pattern, which is a horizontal channel. Once you have a break below the support level, this signals that the consolidation is over and that the larger downtrend will continue. If price breaks above, then it can be a possible trend change upwards. Over to the chart. First, we have the flagpole, which is the moving uptrend, the neutral flag pattern, which is this horizontal channel. Two parallel trend lines are placed above and below, connecting the swing highs and swing lows, then waiting for a breakout. As you can see, we had a breakout to the downside, so we take a sell position as price continues downwards. You can as well explore and backtest these patterns to see what works best for you. And if there's anything you don't understand, ask me in the comment section, as I will try my best to attend to all questions. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos.